Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Lorenzo Carlos. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Today is Wednesday, September 18th, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. Attention, juniors and seniors. Fall 2024 applications uh, to apply for CUSF is available. You can pick up the application in Ms. Heron's room, HJ5. The application drive will run into September 27th, and for more information, you can check your Synergy email. Are you interested in performing during lunch? ASB is looking for singers, dancers, instrument players, and more interested performers. For your chance to perform, please scan the QR code on screen for the Google form. Submissions are due October 4th at 4 p.m. No late submissions will be accepted. Check your Synergy email or contact Ms. Henderson for any questions. The COHS wrestling team is currently having preseason practices on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the wrestling room, which is located between the dance and athletic director's rooms. For questions, contact Coach Curtis by emailing kasunasoakswrestling at gmail.com and check out the Kasunas Oaks High School wrestling team Instagram. Now let's check out the latest sports updates with Ever and Samar. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Samar Singh. And I'm Everett Dugan. And, and this, this is, is your weekly sports update. update. To start things off, I would like to congratulate our girls' volleyball team. Freshman, JV, and varsity won against Sheldon yesterday. Speaking of volleyball, let's check out the girls' volleyball game against Chico. Wow, wow. Great, great job, job ladies. ladies. Transitioning over to the NFL, there's been some very interesting news developing over week two. In the first matchup of the Bills and Dolphins, Tua Tagovailoa, the starting QB of the Dolphins, was struck by Bills safety DeMar Hamlin, giving him a concussion and putting him on severe injury reserves. With Tua being concussed severely multiple times, everyone is wondering, can and should he come back? On another note, our Gold Flag football team is undefeated, and they've got another game tomorrow against Franklin, so make sure to show up and support. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Samar Singh. And I'm Everett Dugan. Now let's, let's go, go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. That volleyball game looked fun. This Friday is our first parent luncheon of the year. Remember that parents must have a valid ID and sign in at the front office. Other family members must be accompanied with a parent or guardian. Lawn chairs and blankets are highly encouraged. And don't forget that DoorDash, Grubhub, or other delivery services must be dropped off at the gates of the MP room. No office drop-offs will be accepted. You can check your Synergy email for more information. We hope to see you there. Lunch meditation rooms are now open for both lunches if you need a place for quiet reflection or prayer. Meditation rooms are indicated with these signs in the window. Medica meditation rooms will have prayer rugs, rosaries, coloring, uh, reverse coloring pages, and QR codes for meditation apps. Some rooms will also have yoga mats. You're welcome to come and relax here if, after you finish eating. Here is the current meditation room schedule. Homecoming will take place next Saturday, September 28th. 
This year's theme, Once Upon a Time, tickets are now on sale. $20 with ASB and $25 without. Guest passes cost $30 and require an ASB card. The no privileges list will be enforced. For more information, check your Synergy email. Now let's tune in to Joseph and May for entertainment. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Joseph Jefferson. And I'm Mayhem Duman, and we're here with your entertainment update. Last weekend on September's 12th through 15th, Splatoon 3's final Grand Festival was held. The Grand Festival featured all seven idols performing together in a concert and hosted exciting battles for players to rake in the most points for their team. Speaking of highest points, it's time to announce the winning team of the Grand Festival. This festival asks players which was more important to them, past, present, or future. Coming third place is Team Future with zero points. And in second place is Team Present with 370 points. And in a surprising turn of events, Team Past came in first with 500 points to end off the final Spat Fest of Splatoon 3. Even though the updates for this game will no longer be enforced, Splatoon fans can still enjoy returning seasons, gear, and holiday-themed Splat Fest. Wait a minute, what's that? It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Dogman. Yesterday, Universal has announced and released a new trailer for the new Dogman movie, giving viewers a nostalgic memory of reading old Dave Pilkey books. Oh, Universal's making that movie? That makes me feel a lot better. Hopefully they include the Flipperama like in the Captain Underpants movie. Anyway, this movie is set to release at some point in 2025, so all you Underpants fans, look out, this look, look out for this movie next year in theaters. Well, that's all we have for today, Wolfpack. I'm Joseph. And I'm May. And then super jump back to the anchors. <laughs> Sounds exciting. I'll definitely have to visit the theater next year. Attention seniors, do you want to learn about the post-secondary financial aid process? Well, you're in luck. Financial Aid Night is next Thursday, September 26th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the MP room. The meeting will announce changes to the 2025-26 FAFSA applications, the financial aid process, applying for grants and scholarships, and much more. CUHS's Vietnamese Student Association is having a fundraiser at Hyper Tea on Saturday, September 21st, from 1 to 7 p.m. The address is 5650 Whitelock Parkway. Please come to support their fundraiser. That's all, that's all we got for you today, Wolfpack. Have a whimsical, whimsical Wednesday. I'm Lorenzo Carlos. And I'm Mara Schrantz. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Cheeseburger, Cheeseburger Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.